are you looking for a makeup product that will not only give you coverage but also protection too then keep on watching this video till the end hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good so in today's video i will be sharing my first impression on a creamy foundation and a beauty blender which is my current favorite and the brand is Flicker. So one day I was scrolling through Instagram and came to know about this brand and right then and there I thought of giving this brand a try because when I was scrolling the products they were very fascinating to me. Let me unbox this parcel and show you what products I got. So the first thing that I got for myself is a creamy foundation. It comes in five different shades so you can choose your shade as per your skin tone. The one that I have got for myself is in the shade 01 Ivory. This is one of the lightest shades that the brand has to offer and it retails for 899 rupees where you can get 9 grams of product along with 36 months of shelf life. So if I talk about the packaging first, so this comes in a pink sort of cute cardboard package back of the packaging you can get all the details like ingredients price manufacturing date shade name everything is mentioned as I'm sharing my first impression so even I have not seen the packaging or the shade so let me open it in front of you Wow this is how it looks like it's very cute it's very handy and also it's not one of those filthy packaging it's quite sturdy and I just love the packaging and if you lose the cardboard packaging you can still get the shade name and from when to when you can use it like in short the expiry date the shade name everything is here now how this product looks like oh wow it's nice also you get a good size of mirror as well so this is how it looks from inside i'm not sure about the shade if it will match my skin tone or not I will be swatching it on my hand as well on my face so that you can get a close idea how this shade will look like on me so that if you are from the same skin tone category you can make up your mind and buy it. Here we get a good size of a mirror so that if you want to touch up it's quite handy you get a mirror you just touch up close it and put in your bag. That's all. So before applying it on my face, I would like to show you a swatch. So, oh my god, it is so creamy. Just look at the product that I have got on my hand. It is so, so, so creamy, guys. So creamy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm highly impressed. It actually, the, as the name suggests, it's actually very creamy. And I believe, yeah. It's blending guys, it's blending just like a butter. Wow! But I think this shade will not suit my skin tone because it's little dark for me. But let's see, let's see. So this is how this finish looks like. See how effortlessly it got blended into my skin. Apart from the shade difference, I believe it's perfect, perfect, just perfect was watching it on my face let me introduce with one more product that I got from the brand and it is their beauty blender and this is how the packaging looks like from outside and here you can see the appearance and I know it looks super cute and that's the reason why I got it at the first place so let me open it and show you oh wow see how cute it is and I, again, again, I would say that I'm highly impressed because they have provided Beauty Blender in a safety package. It will not carry long any bacteria after use. So when I have done my touch up or done with my makeup, I can straight away put it back and close the lid. And also it, I can keep it in my bag and I'm just good to go. So highly, highly, highly impressed. And with the passage of time, I have noticed that Indian brands doesn't get that much of recognition as we tend to give to international brands. But trust me, Indian brands, there are a lot of Indian brands that I have tried skincare and makeup from that actually work in comparison to international or expensive brands. And I think this one is in the list because I'm highly impressed with the packaging, with the swatch that I have just taken, like everything is on point, right? Till then, let me open it and show you how it exactly looks. 
okay so this is how it looks from inside and here we have some flat surface and a pointed surface so it is easy to reach the corners so it's perfect and so soft to the right kind of uh, soft it is not too soft not too hard perfect for blending and today in this video i will be using this blender and applying my foundation with it so we can just test it out both of the products at same time so now let's test whether this foundation it actually blends or just leaves a residue on your face or is it effortless or not so let's find out oh wow Okay, I have applied the foundation on my face and I would always suggest you to apply your foundation in a form of dots because in that case it will help you to blend out easily and it will cover each and every part of your face evenly without making it look patchy. It gave me one swipe pigmentation like even if I do this once just one swipe see how much of product it is getting accumulated so this is what i mean by creamy and highly pigmented and let's blend it out and see how the results come out so i'm using the flicka beauty blender here Whenever you are applying foundation, you should not forget your neck because otherwise it will look like a mismatch. Do it on neck. I am done with application and blending of this creamy foundation and you can see the finish. This is the final result. You can see how effortlessly it got blended. Even though I felt that whenever you are applying this, you need to be a little bit quick because it dries. Not that much quickly, but it would be better that if you will blend it immediately after you have applied your foundation. And over here, I have some dark spots because I have oily and acne prone skin. So I usually tend to have little tiny bumps which leave dark spots. So this has this foundation has done a pretty decent job in hiding them. So this will provide a medium coverage, medium to full coverage, not that much of full coverage, but yeah, it's on the uh, higher side and I'm highly impressed with the brand, the formulation that it has to serve. Unlike other foundations, whenever you try to touch them, they will just wear off from your face and then you have to continuously touch up. With this product, I believe that touch up, you, you just don't need to do lot of touch up because it will stay on your skin for a longer duration of time and also I don't feel that I have applied anything on my face I feel like it's my second skin although it gives medium to full coverage even though it should feel heavy but no with this product it's not the case from an oily skin background whenever I apply any makeup I have to use a makeup setting spray but with this it's been almost 15 to 20 minutes now but I have not applied anything no makeup setting spray and still I can see it is on its place although I'm touching my face again and again but nothing is coming out it's not wearing off as i'm saying that i believe i feel that my skin has soaked it up and it like although it's a medium to fuller coverage foundation but it's giving the finish as if i'm apply as if i have applied a tint which like it's my second skin i'm not feeling like i have applied anything i'm not feeling any heavy it's not giving me any heavy or greasy feeling it has just settled out so if you're wondering what kind of finish this foundation will give as you can see it will just mattify your skin so it will give you satin to matte finish also not only coverage it will provide but also it will give you sun protection from uva and uvb rays now talking about the beauty blender first of all it's very soft and it's very convenient to use for demonstrating this first impression i forgot to damp my beauty blender and i just go ahead and did my base makeup but if you are doing for yourself I would highly suggest that you damp it out just soak it in a water and squeeze out the excess and then apply your base foundation it will give you flawless finish but although I didn't damp it out I just use it as it is still it's giving a beautiful coverage as you can see 
but it's always suggested to damp it out first and then go ahead with your makeup. Also, these products from Clicka Cosmetics are vegan and cruelty free. This beauty blender will be perfect for applying any liquid, creamy or powder product. This beauty blender is multi-sided which will give you precision in applying your base makeup. Uh, like the angled side will help you in highlighting the round side will help you in blending out your makeup flawlessly whereas the precision point will help out in concealing your product like it is so precise that it will reach the smallest area as well which i believe is perfect for blending and so cute and so tiny and does the job pretty well also this is latex free sponge which means that it will be perfect for giving you flawless base makeup this beauty blender retails for 199 rupees. Here you get good 36 months of shelf life. If you're wondering from where you can get these products, then you can buy them from the official website. I will leave the links of the products in the description box below. So please make sure to check them out. So now let's see if it gets transferred or not. highly impressed as i was saying that when i applied it is feeling like my skin has absorbed everything these are the results it's quite shocking guys yeah now as this foundation has passed the transfer test i'm very curious to see that if it will pass the water test or not so let's check it out i'm really excited guys one two three no guys it is transfer and waterproof yes so if i have to summarize everything in few lines then for the creamy foundation i would say it is quite lightweight and will feel like just second skin as if you have not applied anything also it contains spf so apart from coverage it will provide full protection and also it will give satin and matte finish and also if you wish to you can of course build it up as much as you like it comes in five different shades which will suit every skin tone you just need to find a closest match the only bummer about the brand i feel is the shade range they should launch some more shades so that it is convenient for everyone to find a closest match to their skin tone thing about the sponge it is latex free which will give your makeup flawless finish yeah guys that's all for my today's review video i hope you like my first impression if you have kindly like share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell for future updates and in case i have missed out on anything please feel free to comment it down below i will be happy to answer any of your queries so till then bye